Hello you guys, today I'm coming to you knowing it's not a wig review. Um, for a little while, I'm going to be hanging up my lace wigs as though I do love them so very much. Um, I'm going to put me some, well what you call them, you call them micros. I just call them plain old plaits because that's what I've been calling them since I was small. So I'm going to put some plaits in my hair. I'm going to um, come back when I take this off and wash my hair to show you what type of hair I'm going to be using. Um, the wig that I have on now is the, the lace front, um, Javon. This is her. I still have her. If you want to see a video on her, go check out the video on her. But again, yeah, I'm going to go take this wig off, wash my hair, condition it, and all that stuff, and I'll come back with the type of hair that I'm going to be putting in my hair and show you guys. Bye. Hi you guys, I just wanted to come back before I washed my hair and show you guys my hair after I um, took out my two big plaits that I had and they're going back. Um, um, this is for like a lot of the people who were asking me, that's my husband in the background. This is for a lot of people who have been asking me, like does the glue take out my edges? As you can see, no, the glue does not take out my edges. I know you're probably thinking they're not thick, but ever since I was a little girl I've never had really thick edges my edges have always been like this so no the glue does not take out my edges this is how my edges normally look no breakage no shortening no nothing um, my hair looks like this no I'm, my hair is not short my hair goes about to right there um, I have not had a perm in two months no I would say yeah two and a half months almost three months I've not had a perm and this is my hair here, unpermed or unpermed, unstrained or whatever. So okay, I'm gonna go and wash my hair and condition my hair and I will be back. Oh, let me show you guys what I use to wash and condition my hair, hold on. Um, now, this is what I normally use to wash my hair. It is called Silk Egamet. Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Oil Neutral Neutralizing Shampoo. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or focus in on it. I'm not sure what's up with my camera zooming. That's the shampoo I use. And this is the conditioner, like a deep conditioner. It's called Silk, Ele Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Oil Moisturizing Treatment. And this is what I use for a conditioner on my hair. This That's what I mostly use. But, um, like I would say the past couple of weeks I've been using the silicon mix. I know um, Love Kisses 99 said it's for wigs or whatever, but I was like, well, hmm, if it does that for wigs, let me see if what it does for my hair. So, this, um, hold on. This is the shampoo from the um, silicon mix that I use. It's silicon mix shampoo. This works like so great for my hair. This is the hair treatment. It's like a conditioner that you put in. And this is the leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner, guys, works great. I have very dry, itchy scalp, and it helps a little it helps a lot with my dry itchy scalp. It's still a little bit a little bit itchy, but nowhere near as, as itchy as it was. So yeah, that's what I use. Um I alternate between the two. I was also using an Apogee but it was doing absolutely nothing for my hair nothing but yeah okay i'm gonna go wash my hair conditioner and i'll be back hello all i'm back i done washed conditioned and hair and all that stuff i did now no this is not going to be a video about me sitting here doing my whole entire hair you're going to see clips piece by piece of me doing my hair the hair that i have it is called Salon Pro Hair Trend. It is a super bulk wet and wavy. Not sure if you can see that. This is the hair you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very, very soft. It's like hair for plaits. I paid 14 dollars for it. I have two packs of this. I've already washed, conditioned, and my hair is dry. 
I have leave-in conditioner in it by the silicone mix. I may put some other um, type of conditioning or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my hair and I'll come back like when I'm halfway through. Um, mind to you all, you might see me with different clothing on because I'm not gonna finish all my hair today because it's really late at night, so you know, I'm just starting. So you're gonna see clips and clips of me with my hair and I will show you when I'm halfway done and I will show you the end result and I will show you how it curls. Okay, see you guys later. Hello you guys, I'm back for a little minute. Uh, I'm just showing you my progress from last night. Like I'm, this right here, this took me about um, four hours to do. I guess because I was being lazy because normally it doesn't take me that long, but um, yeah. Let me show you guys like a little preview of, of how I, I put my hair in. That's my husband on the phone. What I did was, I got this little comb. I took out a little piece of hair. See this much hair. I just get the hair like this. And I'm not sure if you guys gonna be able to see it, but I just get it and I wrap it around like that. And I make it really tight. I can't see in the mirror, okay. Making sure I'm doing it right. And I just go, starting the plait like that. And my hair is not relaxed, so that's why you're not gonna see that straight, nice thing. You're gonna see a little bit of a bulk because I'm, my hair is not permed. Like I said, I haven't permed my hair in about, I think, three and a half months. I'm not planning on perming it. I'm planning on perming my hair twice a year, which is every six months. So I'm three and a half months post perm. I will be back when I'm like halfway done. Bye. Hello you guys. As you can see, I am halfway done. I have all around the edges of it done. That's all I have left to do. I should be finished that by tonight, if not tomorrow morning. It is the same day. I started at about eight o'clock. It is now 421, so yeah, that's that. But anyways, I'll be back you guys with the finished look. Bye. Hi everyone, I am officially finished with my hair as you can see. That is my nephew crying in the background. I finished it. It's looking kind of wild. Everybody know how when you first get um plaits or whatever they look kind of everywhere in a while they're poofy but whatever y'all just see this in like probably a later video or whatever how i wet it and like make it curly or whatever um whew. my hair is like really tight right about now but oh. yeah this is it my wet and wavy hair it's supposed to be 14 inches Again, I use the it's um, Salon Pro Super Bulk Wet and Wave. I got it in a number one. I bought this from my local beauty supply store, $14.99. I got it in a number one. I'm not sure if you can see that. It does say that this hair can be curled, flat ironed, or whatever, up to 200 degrees, but. I don't want to do any of that because I like the way the way it's looking. I know I'm looking kind of crazy or whatever, but yeah, this, this is my finished product. Um, I thought it was going to take me longer than what it took me, but it didn't really take me that long. Um, as you seen in the previous clip, I told you I started today at um eight o'clock this morning, and right now it is seven twenty-two. I started at um. Eight this morning, like with the the rest of the half that you guys saw. So yeah, I'm gonna be having this style in my hair for quite some time. 
And next time you see me, it won't be so wild or whatever. It'll be more tame because I, don't, I have put some moose and I have put my hair scarves to make it lay down. That's still my nephew. I don't know what my sister's doing to him. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, don't forget. You can ask me. Um, don't forget to rate, thumbs up, or thumbs down. Um, and I'll see you guys in another video with, like, some something that I just wanted to say. Bye. I love you guys.